you know, as, as long as I have. You take the organization to heart. The organization itself um, is a wonderful organization. It provides scientists with a fantastic platform you know, to, to achieve things. Without the platform that Erie provides, none of us could, could achieve um, uh, the things that, that, that we do achieve. I have to say, in brackets, once you're on the platform, uh, Erie seems to do its, its, its utmost to, to almost sabotage the, uh, the concert, but um, through, through its peculiar um, administrative um, uh, behavior. Um, but one does think about the future of, of Erie. Erie is, is an Asian um, um, organization. Um, the, the Asian countries are developing in terms of wealth, power, uh, and their science um, and um, uh, performance uh, is growing. Their investment in science is increasing, so China um, is emerging as a, as a big player um, in biological sciences. India um, uh, are the same. So what, what role will Erie have? Can Erie compete um, uh, and be significant? Um, and how does it uh, re remain significant? And uh, that's an interesting question. I think that we have to look at its title first of all. Erie is the International Rice Research Institute. Yeah? So, so, so it, 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 it has to maintain its international na nature. It has to be about research. It has to be able to command the respect of scientists throughout the world. Scientists have to look at Erie at any time and say, this is an organization that has a lot to offer when we start to discuss food production for the major uh, part of the world's population. Now, how does it, how does it do that with a small staff and a, and a budget uh, which runs at, well, I don't know, 50, or 50 million dollars a year compared to uh, the, the budgets of, of China and India and uh, Japan and, and other, other countries? Again, that's, that's an interesting question and I think I think crucial to it is being bold. I think Erie has to be bold. It has to um, be strategic in its thinking. It has to tackle big problems of significance. I think it always has to have um, a cutting edge component to its, to its work. It also has to be able to act, as I said, I think earlier, as a lens. It has to be able to focus the energy and intellects of people in advanced institutions around the world on real world problems. It has to give people um, the opportunity to use their science in a, in a, in a coupled manner um, to, to, to crack problems of great significance, whatever those problems are. Now, it can only do that if it has a reputation, a, a solid reputation of intellectual um, ability and solid achievement. Erie is not about fertilizer management. It's not about water management. It's about bigger issues uh, than, than, than that. Yeah, it, it, and it has to be in the future. What, what, and whichever branch of, of the Erie's activities you're thinking of, be it social sciences, uh, be it molecular biology, um, it, 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 it has to be up there with the leading thinkers. Climate change is important to you. Climate change is, is a massively important um, uh, problem as we move forward. But again, it's, Erie has a tough job in, in the area of climate change because unlike climate change scientists in general who, who think of 100 years from now, some of them think even longer. Some of them might even think a thousand years from now. Erie has to think about 50 years from now. You know, how, will, how will these things be affecting um, the livelihood of, of farmers and the population of Asia 50 years from now? That's a difficult problem and it requires great thought. It requires accomplishment. Um, so moving forward, I think Erie has to ensure that it is seen as an intellectually vibrant, exciting place. The kind of place where somebody from 
California Institute of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, wants to come, visit, wants to share a problem with somebody who's here. It also has to remember that its mission is to, to help people, you know, to, to provide a better life for themselves and their families. So it has also got this delivery component to its work. Right? I think it's got to manage somehow or another to balance that so that it can, if it, if it is creating you know, new products, new, new ideas, new products, it has also to understand the mechanisms of transfer because th those are in important to it. Now, how it balances those two components going forward is going to be a always a challenge for it. But it has to be an organization that everybody wants 